So, Reagan, what are we doing here? What's going on? Why is Rosine on stocks? Stock. We're gonna throw away the stocks. We're gonna th throw away the stocks? Yep, yeah. and we're gonna put some racing slicks on here. Racing slicks? We'll take her the to the drag These are basically racing slicks. They're pretty slick. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty, uh, run down. This is my fiance's truck, by the way. And we are going to be doing some fun content with this bad girl today. And, um, you'll see. You'll see what we have in store. She's going to give her a good old crank up. You're good. Start her up. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So today's video is not going to be featuring one of my trucks. It's actually going to be featuring my fiance's truck. We went through basically the thoughts of what we really wanted to do with this truck, what parts we wanted to put on it, what we wanted the real look to be for this truck. And after, I don't know, about uh, five minutes of talking, it didn't take long, we decided this is the look we wanna go with on this truck. Now, the look that we are going with is very similar to the look of my Longhorn. Those of you who uh, have been watching the channel for a little while, you guys know that I have a 2018 Longhorn. It's kind of a shame I haven't been driving it a lot. It's actually been parked for a while, but the reason for that is, A, it's winter. I'd rather not be driving a, you know, $70,000 pickup that's built around on salt and stuff. Um, so I've just been driving, you know, the Duramax and pressure washing that thing left and right, trying to keep it as clean as possible. But that being said, we wanted to go with the look of that truck. So that truck has a six and a half inch lift. It's got 375 55R22s on it. Now they don't make an out of the box six inch lift for this truck that's really accessible i mean somebody can make one easy enough they've been done many times but for what we could find the easiest thing to find was a five inch kit for this truck and those are pretty regularly sold online okay so for a lot of the second gens in terms of lift out of the box five inch is pretty common when you're going up past the leveling kit and uh that's what we decided to go with on this truck that being said we couldn't do the 375 55 r22s on this because it probably wouldn't clear but we are going to do a 355 40 r22 which is about it's just less than 34 inches of tire but it's really wide and that's the look we wanted to go with she loves stance more than anything is that right I like love my wheels more than yeah she, she likes stanced wheels more than just like a tall tire because you can get a really tall tire to clear under a second gen if it's skinny but it, then it, it just doesn't have that beefy look and she likes the stanced out big beefy look so that's what we're gonna do now that being said the setup that we're putting on the truck today is not staying on the truck today pretty much we're gonna put it on the truck it might be on there till tomorrow maybe maybe we might even swap it back out tonight but it's only going to be on there for this video so you guys can see it how it would look if it was this setup on a level truck it's going to be getting lifted but we're just doing it for the content for the pictures for the conversation in the comment section below so we're going to get on to doing this right now here are her wheels and tires and holy smokes they're big they are big go stand next to it so they can see the size of these things. I mean, they're just, they're huge. <laughs> I mean, they really are just a big tire. Now these, see, I'm not really a fan of like the super stretched look. And I like it to where when you look down the side of the wheel and tire, you have at least some tire. In this case, I think about a half inch or so that sticks out past the rim itself. Um, and of course, this isn't even with the weight of the truck on it yet, so it's probably going to bring the tire down just a little bit more to where it'll give it a little bit more sidewall coverage. Um, but I don't like it when the rim is sticking out like here. Now, on the first gen, the rim does stick out, and, well, look at the first gen wheels. They are curved on the rear set on both wheels um, due to that. Now, on my Longhorn, it's actually got even more sidewall that kind of hangs that over the rim than this one. But this, of course, we went with the width that would work on this truck due to the way that it's going to be lifted to make it fit so it didn't, um, you know, you didn't make turns. It was going to tear your fenders up and cut up your tires. So it's going to look good. It's going to look really good. All that aside, this is going to look really cool. But do not forget, you are down to the last four days until the last day to enter the 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway. 
Sadly, we don't have the truck here today. That's because it's getting work done on it to make it look even cooler and more awesome. But we're gonna see that truck in the next video here, so stay tuned. Really, really excited. This giveaway is ending quickly. Four days left until the last day to enter this giveaway. Do not miss out. Every $15 you spend on merch gets you another entry to win, whether it's hats, beanies, posters, decals, hoodies, t-shirts, all that stuff. Anything you buy from team-lnp.myshopify.com. Information in the description below. Every $15 more you spend gets you another entry to win, and you could be taking home that 2008 LMM Duramax. Let's get into this install. Reagan, I'm like, you know what? You might be surprised how much turn you might actually be able to get out of these because they're not like she had 35s and 1250 wides on it and they were 12 wide wheels and these are 14 wides but they're not even 34 inches tall. Now they will rub without a doubt. I'm not saying they'll clear. They will rub without a doubt on a full lock. Well, probably not even full lock, but closer to a full lock right here on the fender. It's going to eat that fender up. Obviously, the rear is fine. Um, but you might be surprised how drivable the setup actually would be as long as you're not doing like u-turns and freaking trying to park in a tight spots and stuff and you need a lot of wheel movement honestly you might be surprised we might actually um take the truck and slowly pull it forward and backwards and see how much rotation you can actually get out of it we're gonna see how much clearance and turn shock should be able to get her turn capability I'm actually really impressed holy crap I'm actually really impressed it doesn't hit the front bumper at all um, and she can actually turn a lot I'm impressed get out and look how much you can turn I mean that's a lot of turn Are you impressed at how much you can actually turn though? I'm actually really surprised. You can turn a lot. I mean, for most daily driving, you'll never have to turn more than that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we're still going to lift it so that she can get a full lock, no problem, but I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. How much did you turn your wheel? Like a whole and a half. A whole turn and a half? That's actually pretty good. I'm actually really surprised. We're gonna drive down the road a little bit. Okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see just driving down the road and back how drivable it really is before it starts turning under normal driving conditions. So far, so good. I'm actually really surprised at how this truck clears all these normal just like normal turns normal roundabout stuff like that and it's actually doing surprisingly good is there anything you notice that you don't like about the way it rides on this 
leveling kit with these 14 wides. It's working a lot harder. <laughs> it's working a lot harder. Get the wheels wearing. Oh, it's gonna have to work harder when you do a lift. Oh, I know. But I mean, it's a uh, it's fun though. Ooh, careful, but oh, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> See, like even that, that was kind of a sharp, fast turn with a little bit of bumping around and it still cleared it. I'm actually really surprised. I told her, I said, if you did just another two inches of lift in the front, I know, I know all the Cali lean guys out there, be, that haters out there be like, oh my gosh, that'd be so stupid, but it would clear. You had four inches of lift in the front, it would squat about by an inch in the rear, that's how it would look but it would clear. We just got back from the drive and I'm actually thoroughly surprised. It cleared pretty well. It honestly did drive pretty good. Obviously, we're still probably gonna go do the entire lift because we've already got that schedule and we already bought it, but it does drive really nice. Really, really nicely and it does make the truck look really good. Reagan says she doesn't really like the low wide look. I love it. I think it looks I super did it mean. Like three months. Yeah, I know, I know, but this is like super wide. Um, it's not even that low. It's not like it's it's dropped down. It's still two and a half inch leveled up front, but it's just not like a giant lift with big wheels and tires to kind of give it that height to width ratio that she really wants. But honestly, it looks freaking mean. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we didn't have the Duramax in the video, but guys, do not forget to enter the Duramax giveaway. It ends in. Shoot, four days by the time you see us? By the time they No, no. Four days until the last 24 hours hits. Four days until the last 24 hours of the giveaway hits to win the 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway. Every $15 you spend gets you another entry to win. Information in the description below. You guys are awesome. Go grab some merch, enter that giveaway, take home a new truck next week. Thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.